The Silver Spring Network radio is called a mesh radio. Mesh means that the radios talk to one another, so literally meters communicate between one another. So to show you what this actually looks like, uh, in Chicago there are two high-rises that have meters installed uh, on multiple floors of a high-rise. So we are going to fly down through the river here in uh, Chicago to the area in the corner here where we have two high-rises with these smart meters. And what you're going to see is the communications paths up through the core of the building. Now these are communication paths out of the building, and here we see meters on every third floor in this high-rise. And you can see the lines between them. The color of the lines, green is good, uh, yellow is good, blue is good, uh, red is marginal. You can see how much the mesh forms and how robust the mesh is up through the core of the building. And so you can see that it, a smart meter somewhere in that building could communicate up through that building and ultimately back to the utility. The reason why you want as dense a mesh as possible is that if something were to block the signal, it, the uh, RF could take a different path. And so the more robust the, and dense the mesh, the more reliable the communication. You can see in both of these buildings, very dense mesh formation up through the core of the building. This is an animation in Google Earth of the voltages on a hot summer's day in the Chicago area. Uh, about three o'clock in the afternoon when all the air conditioners are humming, the grid is under a lot of stress and the smart meters not only record energy, but they also record voltage. So that's the quality of the power that the customers have received. So I'm going to start this animation, and what this shows you is it's a mesh. The grid, the, this green plane, is the nominal voltage of the meters. Anything above it would be voltage that are swells or higher than nominal, and anything below it is voltage that would be lower than nominal. So this is showing you areas of the grid that are under stress. So we're going to fly around it. You'll actually find a spot where the voltage was unacceptably low. And so uh, ComEd had to dispatch crews out to repair some problems on a feeder. And this animation shows you how rapidly you can zoom in to a problem area using smart meter data and go out and repair the grid in areas that need uh, uh, attention.